My name is Esther van Zuren. I'm a dermatologist at the Leiden University Medical Center in the Netherlands. I'm the lead author of Interventions for Rosacea based on the phenotype approach, a systematic review including grade assessments. This review dates back from 2000 when we started it as a Cochrane review. Since then we have updated it several times. Recently, the diagnosis and classification of rosacea have evolved from a subtype approach into a phenotype approach. This classification should improve patient-centered care in which several features of rosacea that bother the patient most can be addressed at the same time. We had already included 106 randomized controlled trials in our previous version of this review, which was published in 2015. With our new updated searches across six databases and five ongoing trial registers, we were able to include an additional 46 studies. This made the total 152. Two review authors independently assessed risk of bias using the Cochrane Risk of Bias tool and extracted data. Our primary outcomes were patient-centered, like quality of life, participant assessed changes of rosacea severity and adverse events. Our secondary outcomes were physician assessed changes in rosacea severity, assessment of erythema and teleangiectasia, reduction of lesion counts, time needed to improvement and duration of remission. We used the GREAT approach to assess the certainty of the evidence of the predefined outcomes for the main comparisons. As said, we had included a total of 152 randomized controlled trials in almost 21,000 people with rosacea. 93 comparisons were evaluated. I will summarize the most important conclusions. For erythema, it was high certainty evidence that topical bromonidine was more effective than its vehicle. And there was moderate certainty evidence that topical oxymetazoline was more effective than its vehicle. For most laser and light based therapies, they had a small sample size, were not blinded and mainly provided low certainty evidence. Although most dermatologists will confirm that these treatments are effective. For papules and pustules, there was high certainty evidence that topical ivermectin and azelic acid were effective and there was moderate certainty evidence for topical metronidazole and topical minocycline foam. Regarding systemic treatments, there was moderate to high certainty evidence that doxycycline 40 mg modified release as well as for low dose isotretinoin were effective. And there was moderate certainty evidence that minocycline 100 mg was as effective as doxycycline 40 mg modified release. And at last but not at least, for ocular rosacea, there was moderate certainty evidence that omega-3 fatty acids were effective and low certainty evidence for cyclosporin ophthalmic emulsion and doxycycline 100 mg. Previous versions of this review have been used for guideline development in many countries. We have added the complete systematic review of almost 800 pages as a supplementary file. This includes all details of the included and excluded studies, risk of bias assessment, data analysis of the 93 comparisons as well as 25 summary of findings tables. We considered it important to align evidence-based treatment options for rosacea with the new phenotype approach. And we hope that this updated systematic review can provide guidance for clinical decision-making as well as guideline development.